You know, establishing healthy habits can be easy, but being consistent, well, that's the real challenge. For sure, right? Luckily, there are some easy tweaks to your day-to-day -day that can really make a difference to your well-being, especially to your heart. So for more, we welcome Dr. Ashish Suraju. And we're talking about these tiny <clears throat> tweaks. Welcome also. It's so good to see you. You do such a great job. It's always great and I, to and be I'm, here. I'm, and I like the combo. That's very nice. Well, thank you. It's just for, <laughs> just for everybody here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right, so let's talk about some of these things because we're also talking about people just want to get healthy for summer, healthy for life, but this is also heart healthy tips too. Talk about some of these little healthy tweaks we can do. Absolutely. Great question. And I think you guys hit the nail on the head right away, which mm -hmm. is trying to make consistent small changes yeah. that compound over a lifetime. Mm -hmm. I often tell my patients it's like buying Apple stock in the 80s or something like that. Mm -hmm. Make a change today, let it compound. Small changes every day mm -hmm. instead of big changes that may not sustain over time. What about if you're older? Yeah. Make it, does it still apply? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could still be a blockbuster stock, I think, mm -hmm. making changes. A blockbuster yeah. stock. <laughs> like like well, it. we're looking at some of these things. Eat yeah. heart healthy foods. You know, just a couple of days ago, we had a story about the real difference of cutting back on red meat and mm -hmm. eating more fish, only eating uh, maybe red meat one to three days a week, if mm -hmm. that. Um, that can really make a difference, especially with your heart, right? And why is that? Absolutely. I think, you know, like you said, making small changes to the diet can make a major difference. What I always tell people is look at the pattern of what you're eating. Mm -hmm. Look at how much red meat you're eating, how much mm -hmm. ultra-processed food, pre-packaged food. Someone's mm -hmm. made the food, packaged it up, mm -hmm. and given it to you. How much of that stuff are you eating? How much excess salt are you adding? Mm -hmm. Look at those things and try to scale back because very reliable research has shown that following a dietary pattern like the Mediterranean style mm -hmm. diet yeah, mm -hmm. always mm -hmm. yeah. or a, di a diet called the DASH diet, oh, D-A-S-H, okay. okay. which are rich in vegetables, low in salt, low in red meat, low in processed foods, mm -hmm lead to better outcomes. Now, we, that, that probably rolls into the diabetes as well, you know, trying to control that. But what about stress? How do you control stress, yeah. especially in the world we live in today? Yeah, it's a great question. You know, mm -hmm. stress can increase blood pressure, right? Stress can also make us alter our healthy habits because it takes a little bit of motivation to follow healthy habits. Mm -hmm. So things like meditation, Mm -hmm. Things like being mindful, mindfulness, those things That's can really help. my brother's going to live forever. He's into all that stuff. <laughs> oh, he's he's in yoga. yoga. You know, he does that stuff, yeah. you know. Uh, but, but, I mean, but he has a high-stress job. Think about it. He's a he judge. He does. He does. But, uh, but, you know, and I think for us, the meditation, like you said, is very important. Mm -hmm. yes. And so how do, you, how, do you, how do you get into that kind of thing? Yeah. Again, 1%, 1 percent, 1 percent changes. Yeah. All you need to do to start off is find five minutes yeah, okay. just to be silent, organize your thoughts okay. and start meditating. Okay. And bit by bit, that'll grow. Do you do that? I do. Um, I it's very helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's talk about to just exercise in mm -hmm. general. We just had a story a few minutes ago mm -hmm. this morning and talking about just trying to take the steps more, trying to get out there and walk. If you can go to the gym, if that's your thing, do that. But that really can help you and also can help you mentally too. 100%, I think there are two components to that. One is avoid sedentary behavior. So that's the what first What do you mean? Is it sitting around playing video games? Yeah, sitting around in general. <laughs> Stand up and play the video games. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Play the video. That's exactly right. right. Oh, that's right. That? Yeah. yeah, but then go one step beyond that and say, am I exercising? Am I getting that heart rate up? And how much, how much exercise are we talking about, Doctor? Yeah. I think a good rule of thumb is 30 minutes a day, five no, days bad. a week is a good starting That's not point. Bad. Yeah. A good yeah, start. like you okay. said too, it's those little changes. It can be overwhelming if people feel like they have to work out every day. That's right. Whatever, or and for long periods of time. Mm -hmm. Smoking still is just not good. And now yeah, we're yeah. seeing with the other tobacco products and vaping too, yeah. um, not having a, a good yeah. effect on our heart and lifestyle. Yeah. Absolutely. I think, you know, if you're actively smoking or using those products, that's the thing. first thing. That's what about the you said reach out for, for resources? What do you mean mm -hmm. by this? Getting checked up by the doctor, doing your regular checkups? Is that yeah, it? absolutely. Everything. Talk to your doctor because yeah. everyone's got resources available to them. So mm -hmm. we have a smoking cessation clinic, for example. We have nutrition clinics. We have mm -hmm. all these resources. Every doctor has access to these mm -hmm. things. Do never be afraid to reach out is what I tell people. Yeah, yeah if you need yeah. help with blood yeah. pressure, if you need help with cholesterol, those things. Make your doctor your best friend. True. That's exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> we love you. Thank you for coming in today. It's always so My good pleasure. to see you. Such great information.